Right, hi hey guys. Right, what I'm actually at at the moment now is I'm doing the bodywork. Um, I've done a lot of moulding as it is. You can see it down here now. I'm just on my last few bits and pieces here. You can see the last bit of tidying up to be done there. I've sort of squared it all off. Um, what I'm actually doing now at the moment up here is I'm tying in the edges because I want the edge of the lid to match the bottom of the of the uh, sidecar. I don't want to sort of a step or the wrong shape or whatever the case may be because it would look messy. So I have the same done here. So what the plan is, basically, I want the continuous line from here all the way down along here, right the way through to the end on the back, and the same up, up top here to follow all the way around, like a continuous U, so to speak. Uh, because what I'm actually going to do with that is I'm going to do a timber effect paint on that particular section, So and I want it to all look sort of one piece. Okay, so that's what I'm at at the moment now, guys. It's all moulding, sanding, and just generally sort of boring stuff. Right, this is the underside of the lid. Um, what you're looking at here uh, is these, this, uh, you can see the shade, the, the shadowed area there, that's the uh, the footprint of the hinge that goes underneath. Um, what I've done is the hinge is spaced, as you can see there's three nuts there, that's the spacing for the hinge. The idea is when the door, when the lid is opening and closing, it has to clear, it has to clear this, so it's not actually rubbing up and down and pulling all the paint off. So what I've got to do now is I've got to make, make up two metal pieces here to go underneath the hinge, be bolted up, and uh, that will offset the hinge. I've got to do the same underneath here for the other side of the hinge. Now, um, another reason for doing it here especially is because this is actually quite flexible. It's only fiberglass and it's quite thin. And the last thing I want in the future is for the, is for the bolts to pull through the top and, uh, and break. So this is my plan for today. So I'm going to get all the hinges, uh, the hinges sorted out, get everything sort of fixed up properly and solid. Right, what I'm at today is more and more, more moulding, as you can see, repairs and filling dents and getting all sort bits sorted out. Um, I'm still on the, I sorted out, I reinforced the hinges, as you can see underneath there yesterday. Um, what I've also done is, I've redone the, I've redone these guys, um, and I've welded captive nuts in there. Um, because I was a bit worried that the, the wall of the tube that I used wasn't strong enough. So it's plenty strong enough now, so the two braces are up. Um, I've put dome nuts on the bottom here as stoppers, so it, so it can only go up so far and the dome nuts will stop it from going any further. So that's sorted, and I just twist twist these guys then to lock it into place. Um, other than that then, I'm just doing sort of finishing off the edge uh, of, the, of, the, of the, the rail here to meet the edge of the sidecar so the whole lot flows nicely. So that's what I'm doing now today, okay? Right, what you're looking at now is sort of, I suppose, stage two. The primer was the first one that you saw, uh, which was coated in white. This is the first of the base coats of the wood effect that I'm looking for. Um, that's the step of the sidecar. So as you can see, wherever you see orange, well, that won't be all done. It'll be just a fraction of that done, but I'll be bringing black then up to meet that. So that's why I'm not too bothered about the edge there. But as you can see now, we're orange all the way around here and um, that's I, I suppose for want of a better word we'll call that stage one uh, reason for it is i've started the floor on stage two so what you have now that's stage two it's a kind of a mottled um, a kind of a mottled finish as you can see there now alternate i'll be doing alternate ones of these now in the mahogany grain so that'll be stage three and there'll be then you have to have a varnish coat in between each stage as well to so all in all you're probably looking at 12 to 14 coats in total to get all this done there you go guys, I'm just knocking out the first effect on the paint. And this is all how to get the, the sort of the underneath of the grain of the paint to work, you know, to, to stand out. Let's get a nice a paintbrush is called a flogger and that's literally all I'm doing. Just giving it a good old slap in to get a nice texture in, nice textured effect into it. And after that then, after that then comes the uh, the actual drawing on of the grain. Uh, I'm into about eight coats at this stage. So that gives you a quick idea. That just literally goes over the base coat. You know, there's another coat, a coat of lacquer to go on top of that, another coat on top of that, and numerous other top coats on top of that. Right, I'm actually working on the, the wood grain effect at the moment. Um, this is going on top of the, you can see it here. 
it'll actually be going down the middle piece on this piece. Um, this is the effect that I'm looking at. Uh, you can see the sort of what looks like texture there. It's quite difficult here because the the focusing on the on the on, on my phone isn't good enough. But there you go. That's there you go. That's what you have now. Um, so what I'll do is I'll give you an idea of what's going on. Bear with me now one second. So I'll peel that off. I will peel this guy off. So what you effectively have is the equivalent of three boards. There'll be there'll be a joint now going up here. There'll be a uh, piece of brass going up here, and another piece down here, and there'll be gold striped then along the edge, both pinstripe both sides. So hopefully, when it's all done, it'll actually look quite good. Right, the paintwork is coming on quite well. Um, I have most of the uh, side car pretty much finished. The I've got a there's going to be a gold pinstripe going down there. I have the centre of the black now to do at some stage today, but the actual wood effect down the side is all done. And it's all done up inside in around here. So I'm very pleased with that. That actually turned out very well. So the, the, the step is there now ready for um, ready for the gold pinstripe to go down the joints. Um, I'm actually in the process of doing that at the moment with the floor. So as you can see, this is how it's being done. Um, three, coats of pa uh, three coats of gold striping to get it all sort of nice, get a nice rich colour on it. And what I'll do then is when the whole thing is, is done, I will be varnishing up the whole floor. And uh, it'll look really good. I'm actually really pleased with the way it's turning out. Right. That's the floor of the sidecar finished. Uh, and all ready to be installed. So I'm absolutely thrilled to bits now with that. It actually turned out really, really well. Um, the other pieces now have to be done. So the next job now is to rub down the, the side step, and I'm going to get stuck into that. So that's all I'm going. It's just a quick video, just to let you know, uh, just to let you know how the progress is going. Okay, see you later, guys. Bye bye.